Do I have a weapon I can? Oh, well, you know, there's an axe right there. I don't have like some slave that I can have follow me around with a camera. Warning. You're watching Dr. Todd Lee TV, where theoretically you could learn a bunch of cool shit. How to grow arms. Now I know what you're wondering. Why the fuck am I gonna take advice from Todd the T-Rex Lee about how to grow arms? This bitch has no arms at all. Well, let me tell you. It's the people that have no genetics and are the ones who learn the science the most. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, science? Why the fuck would I want to know the right way to train when I could just do barbell curls and do skull crushers? And that will give me huge arms because all the guys with big arms, that's what they do. It's like, eh, no. That's genetically gifted people can grow no matter what they do. And it's not that those are bad exercises. They are optimal exercises. I'm going to show you a really simple fucking trick. This is where my arms are natural. Now, some people have arms in here, and some people can supinate their wrist fully. I cannot. This is me supinated. So the idea of doing a barbell curl. All right. So for me to properly curl this axe, notice how my elbows are coming out to my sides. This is very uncomfortable. I have to hold it basically like this. Like it's not in my hand right. It's not like this. It's like this. This is how Dorian tore his bicep by doing this bullshit. This doesn't work. Now, Mike Van Wick will tell you, you can lean forward and curl like this, and it gets your arms in position, but they're not out to your side, they're out in front of you. But the problem is your hand is still not supinated fully. So to fully supinate, I have to do this. Now notice my hand is not lined up with my elbow and my shoulder because they're not superimposed on the camera. They're out here. This is bad. No bueno. So that same thing holds true for the skull crusher. If I was to kneel down here, notice when I do this, my arms are not going like this, like they would if I was holding dumbbells. My wrists don't pronate fully enough to do this, like a mantis strike. My elbows are still coming out. My arms are going to do this. So this is stupid. You should use dumbbells for that, but I'm going to get to that in a second. Hold on. I'm going to go back to the what I was saying before. So this is where my arms naturally hang. So if I had a dumbbell in my hand, I could... Doing this is not against gravity. This is. This is against gravity. This allows me to fight gravity directly. My hand is superimposed over my shoulder. It's a straight line. My, my hand is not outside or inside my shoulder. This hits both heads of the bicep correctly in the power position. Why? Because from the side, this is where there's a 90 degree angle between the line of force. This is the line of force, this mic cable. As I come down, the line of force is going to like a 135 degree angle. And eventually as my arm's straight, it's like there's no tension at all at the bottom. Then there's a 90 degree line of force here that's maximum tension. As I come up all the way to the top, the line of force is now a 45 degree angle, so we get about half tension. At the 50% mark where the muscle's pretty much the strongest, that's where you're gonna get the most tension. So down here, the biceps are training their length in position and the tr triceps are training a shortened position. Up here, your biceps are training in your shortened position and the triceps in the lengthened position. A simple and easy way of doing it, if you were gonna do biceps, tricep, would go triceps down here, then triceps up here, you know, maybe three sets down here, three sets up here, and then you turn and do cable curls up here, bring it back down, and then turn around and have your back to the machine and curl lengthened wise. And of course you do all the weak side, maybe all left side, then all right side. Then you go back to left side, then right side. It sounds crazy, but this would work and you're like but that's not enough for biceps triceps yes it is but you would have to do it three times a week you'd have to do it every 48 hours basically so you do it after push after pull and then again before legs push pull legs off pull push legs so on the push you do all six sets of triceps at the end. Then after the pull, you do all six sets of bicep at the end. And then before legs, you do all six sets of triceps again. You've worked your triceps three times and you worked your biceps three times. If you did push, pull, legs, push, pull, legs, you'd hit your triceps four times and your biceps only twice. So that's a tricep focused only. To get bicep focused, you go pull, push, biceps and legs off, pull, push, biceps and legs. Off. Now keep in mind, we're getting the biceps or the triceps once per week first because it's before legs. If you really want to prioritize them, you would do the, the arm and leg combination first. So you would go whichever arm you're doing plus legs, then the other push and pull, for instance, so biceps, legs, then push and triceps, and then back and biceps, off. And then you would go triceps and legs, back and biceps, push and triceps, off.
I'd like to thank our sponsor, Fusion Regenerative Therapies, where I am the Director of Human Performance. This is the practice in which I practice medicine. I uh, will be able to order you blood work and read your blood work and help you with therapy as needed based upon the results of your blood work. Please click the link to get a consult with me and I can help you optimize your performance. Thank you. Now, because you guys wanted me in the gym, I got some videos for you. Okay, so this is an explanation or a demonstration of the length and position of the biceps using a band instead of a cable. Don't use a band, use a cable. So this is like a neutral position for both heads. This is me changing the angle, showing you that I'm hitting both heads. I'm showing you from That's multiple angles. Thing. Notice the foot about 90 degrees at the bottom, 45 at the top, making it lighter at the top. This is the short head because my arm is internally rotated. And the next video, I'll show you the long head. This is the long head. Same thing, I just had to move the camera. Yes, there's a bed there. There's a long story for that. No, I don't have slaves. That's pretty much it. That's how you train the long head. This is me demonstrating the shortened position of the bicep. First, the long head. It's way too heavy of a band for my body weight. Now this is both heads. So I cut me off on that one, but this is just short head. It really isn't just short head. It's like 75% short and 25. It's like 60% short head, 40% long head. This is balanced and this is long head. Now I'm gonna show it to you from the other way. This is short head, this is balanced, this is long head. Same thing goes for down low, okay? Coming across your body is short head. Coming right in front is balanced. Coming out is long head. That's it. Now, as you can see, like if you're doing a cable up high, I was like all over the fucking place. That's why I like this hammer strike machine. This is my favorite way to train the bicep in the shortened position. Right now, the way my body's positioned, I'm getting a little bit more short head. If I was angled out, opening my arm up, I would get more long head, like I demonstrated with the cable. With the band, I mean. This is just a different camera angle, but I'm doing the same exact thing, working the short position with this machine. So, you probably noticed my butt was going up and down, like, nye, 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 nye. it's like, that machine is made for people taller than me, so I can't sit down and do it. All right, now, we're gonna do some videos on the triceps. This is training the tricep and the length and position bilaterally. This is my favorite way to train the tricep in the shortened position. Notice the shortened position for the tricep is the lengthest position for the bicep. And this is me training my triceps in the lengthened position bilaterally. I had a stagger stance. I had my hand up against jungle gym to support myself to brace. I had a fat grip that's able to hit the bicep better, I feel, than with a smaller grip. And with the triceps, I don't want to squeeze something and get my forearm involved. I like to have a cuff. I don't put the cuff around my wrist because it, it just slides all over the place. It irritates me. Squeeze the cuff and then extend. And, but the pressure is here. It's not grip dependent like on ropes. We've covered the dumbbell options, the machine options. In the end, it's that motion that matters in the line of force of that motion and in the end it's going to be cables now the barbell like i said i demonstrated that first it just doesn't work so luckily we're done with the body parts hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching this video if you liked it there is a full length version available if you didn't like it you're in our word this is just the summary just the tip if you will this is the tip of the iceberg of knowledge that i have bestowed upon you please accept and absorb the rest of this iceberg now a lot of people are selling this stuff. They are selling courses on the material. This is free. You don't have to pay if you click the link. It's not a funnel that you're not going to get duped into giving your credit card or your email. You just get to watch the video. If you like the video, watch the whole series, watch it in order, the how to grow. There's numbers for a reason. Hopefully you completed preschool and you can count. So you watch them in order for a reason. That's why they're filmed in that reason, in that order, because they go from most important to least important. And as you suspected, the PED videos at the end, I guarantee you the answer to your problems is not more steroids. It's better lifting. If it's missing, it's probably because you're watching a censorship platform switch to one of the uncensored platforms to see the PED video. I believe it's video five and I believe it's video 10 are not in the censored platform. So you are in a censored environment if you're missing those. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to get a consult by clicking the link in the description box.